All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So uh, this video is dealing with The Verge and its whole debacle around copyright. Um, the Verge, for those that don't know, is a tech, I use this term very loosely, news site. And that's really about all it is, um, as you can tell. I have The Verge pulled up. Here's the thing I have and the problem that I have with The Verge. The Verge likes to do this thing um, they are ad driven. They are sensationalist. They look to pick fights just to pick fights because it does something. Somebody said something on the internet that doesn't mesh well with the, somebody's feelings that they might have hurt. Oh God, somebody had a difference of opinion. It's the internet. So The Verge put up a shitty how to build a PC video. I don't know, five months ago, give or take. Uh, Bitwit and uh, Review Tech USA did a one was a parody and one was uh, uh, like a thirty minute critique, a live stream critique of it. They got bitch slapped four months later with a copyright strike by Vox Media lawyers. Now that in and of itself is just moronic. The best part about all this though is that The Verge took down that thing because it got lambasted as it should have because you know. When you do 99% of the stuff in that video wrong, uh, you know, put the power supply backwards against the fucking side of the vent, fucking idiot. Um, you know, so they <laughs> they uh, they take it down, and four months later, after it's died down and everybody moved on, they issue copyright strikes to. Review Tech USA and Bitwit. And to me, that is that is dumb. It's done. It's over. Move on. Like, like that's all you needed to do. And at the end of the day, they didn't. So they got copyright strike and all the other stuff. Now, for those that don't know, a content ID match or a copyright content ID match, etc., it's usually not anything. Copyright strike is different. You lose abilities like live streaming for, I believe it's either 30 days or 90 days. I can't remember the exact punishment. Or you lose, you know, the ability to upload videos longer than 10 or 15 minutes. Um, monetization can go away. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong with copyright strikes. So the Verge issued one for each. And instead of admitting after they viewed these, because these were manually done too, that was that's the kicker. Instead of ish, uh, like issuing an "oops, our bad" at these works, because one's a parody, fair use, and one is you know adding seventy percent more content and criticism and critique to this particular video via live stream, they still upheld and doubled down on that they were right because you know. The Verge is right all the time. Uh, no, because here's the thing. You are definitely, definitely wrong. Um, it, like, uh, <laughs> because you, The Verge says 90% of these videos was un, unedited and trammed and everything. It was just 90% their content. It was a, One was a parody of your content. Which apparently that parody went up and over. And your complaint about it being a racist character. Characters can be done in tasteless fashion. But it doesn't affect the fair use and or copyright, you dumb motherfucker. The other one was a critique. So there's a lot of pause in those videos and explanations of what's being done wrong, etc. And probably some making fun of because you know, that video was that they were commenting on was abysmal and you know, terrible. Um, kind of like the Virgin General. Uh, so here's the long short of that, though. When they doubled down on it, after that, they said they were still in the right. And after that, the Verge goes on to this weird like especially this editor who issued this apology tries to play the hero then the verge goes on to the uh 
oh, well, we got a bunch of dislikes and nasty comments. You sullied your own reputation and you got ridiculed. The internet is a public forum and you're subject to public ridicule. This is no different than a business doing stupid shit in public and getting ridiculed in public for doing stupid shit. Real, uh, real or online, that, that's kind of a thing, you idiots. But then they take this comment. Good luck staying alive. The internet doesn't forget as a death threat. Death to your business, maybe? But, you know, what they mean is good luck staying alive because of this situation. The internet doesn't forget. You sullied your reputation with the internet. So, two and two together. If the internet doesn't forget, you sullied your reputation with a bunch of those people. They're going to view you in a bad light. So they're not going to recommend you to go as a source of news, which I'll get into that in a second. At the end of the day, you're not the victims. You did some stupid, accept it, move on. That's all you had to do. But now you double down, you know, whatever. And then you complain about not communicating with you directly. Do you understand what criticism and fair use is? Because apparently not. So here's the thing, Vox, The Verge, kind of like this whole top banner of yours on your website. You guys sell 75% of the top header of your website to Samsung for the S10. The Verge, the actual content of your own header, takes up maybe 25%. So is how much is the uh, content you guys produced your own and how much is regurgitated from the shit you guys are advertising and paid for because to me hey you want to be a whore that's fine admit that you're taking money for being a whore <laughs>